this is one of the nicest entertainment decks and areas that I've been in in a long time. And we see a lot of those lately, right? But this is really nice. You have lots of Nara, Patagonia. Does that sound familiar to you? If it does and you're excited, you had better watch the full house tour because we haven't had a house this grand in a while. And this is in Ayala Labang Village. lot of ground to cover today because as you can see it's gonna be a big house for today's house tour and it's also gonna be a gorgeous one now from the facade there's a lot of things to look at let's go from left to right you have your automated driveway gate so your vehicle gate going down the driveway which also has a doorbell here a camera as well as your number pad for the password so that you can open your automated gate then you have another gate over here that's gonna let you park a few vehicles right here by the front. Lots of landscaping or gardening. And then you have your pedestrian gate here, also with a doorbell right next to it. Let's go inside. And as, oops, sorry. <laughs> Very wide umbrella. Okay, so the moment you enter your pedestrian gate, you have a garden immediately to your right and around the corner. You can also see a sliding glass door over here, which we'll see later where it leads to. Then this is the rest of the driveway that I was talking about. You can probably fit around three, three cars, more or less. Four depends on how you slot on it, what kind of vehicle you have, and if it's a uh, subcompact, etc. Then this is your main entrance. You have two Senorita steps right here. Excuse me, I'm just gonna wipe my shoes because it has been rainy. And I will take this out so that you can see just how beautiful this main door is. It's a solid Nara wooden door. Here you go, Jones. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. You have a solid Nara wooden door with a Gamagong handle as well as a digital door lock right here. Very, very minimalist, by the way. And then you have glass panels on either side as well as the top. So it basically frames your main entrance. And just as a little detail, even your ceiling is nada. So that is really pretty. And solid, mind you. Okay. So the moment you enter, this is what will greet you. An amazing accent wall. But before we go even near that, let's look at what is near us, which is the side of your main stairs behind this design. So at first I thought it was wood. Actually, bakal siya. <laughs> Ang ganda. It's a uh, thin metal sheets carved into a leaf design. And you can again see your main stairs, which are Nara both above and under the flights of stairs. And then to your right, you have a sliding glass door that leads to your office. So it's right next to your main entrance. You have beautiful Nara flooring. New baseboard, ang kapal. Sorry, Look at this. Like it's 
thick baseboards, no, uh, none for the ceiling, but then you still have jams framing your very tall doors. I am about standard height for a Filipina. These are really tall doors. I'm not just super short. The standard is usually 2.1. These are probably, I don't know, probably three more or less. And then this leads to the ensuite toilet and bath with your enclosed shower space, your sink, your toilet, and then a wardrobe storage right here. Beautiful handles, by the way, brushed stainless steel. I appreciate that. And then, you can, and then this has a glass so that you can show off whatever you store, show off shoes, bags, what have you. So this office will also double as a bedroom if you needed it to do so. But how about you naman? I mean, uh, how about, sorry, correction. How about you naman siya kailangan as a bedroom? You can use it as an office, etc. as I mentioned. We have an accent wall right there. We already have that desk there, so you might as well use it as an office, right? Right next to that one, you have your elevator lobby. So this is going to go down to the basement as well as to the upper floors. I haven't seen it yet though, so we're going to explore that together. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> and then over here you have your open space. And oh my goodness, when I say open space, it is open space. It feels very cavernous and luxurious at the same time. And when I say cavernous, yes, that is the feeling, but that is also the aesthetic. First of all, you have backlit marble uh, slabs over here. You can see how big the cuts are, all right? So at night, even during the day, it's gonna look super, super beautiful. And then it's framed by narrow planks. Speaking of big cuts, the flooring for this area is beautiful you have massive tiles like these are what are they like 120 yeah 120 by about 240 more or less they're pretty big tiles which basically indicate that those are high quality and expensive so this is your living area you have still the high ceiling portion which speaking uh, sorry speaking of ceiling still has nada with some led strips in between and then down lights on the sides. Lots of natural lighting thanks to all of the fixed windows as well as your sliding windows over here that you can open up for cross ventilation. And then there is a lower ceiling living area right here, so your formal living area. So you'd have this kind of seating setup. And normally, this looks like you would be sitting in front of a fireplace, but in this case, you're sitting in front of your accent piece, which is, or accent wall, which is Patagonia. Book ends, by the way, look at, that. look at that beautiful pattern. And yes, it's still backlit, which makes it look rather magical, doesn't it? Everything else around here is Nara. No, no, no. And this is, wait, no, sorry, this is Nara. Okay, just making sure. It's Nara and the back, oh, that is so solid. That back portion there is Kamagong. Also lit, by the way. So you still have LED strips at the back portion. Love it. Super clean, but still. And dami yung materials, dami yung character, dami yung pattern na tinitignan. And then over here, I am very curious. So you actually have up lights from the floor to illuminate this because there's so much texture for this one. And these are monumental stone. So I don't, I'm not quite sure. Like I can see. Uh, the cuts of it, no. Pero mukang yung iba medyo mas boy. So I don't know how this was installed, how it was made, but it looks gorgeous. And it's not all the way up to the top. By the middle portion, or where the second floor starts, may kita mo may LED strips then. So that is a different portion naman. That's a smoother tile. It's travertine tiles. So iba rin yung tama na ilaw dun sa gabi. Those, those tiles are these. Look at this. <laughs> diba? So, meron din siyang porous pattern. So, obviously, at night, mas ma highlight yun. But looking at it up close without lighting, it's smooth, but again, textured. Okay, so that is that side of this open area. Now, this here is your dining. Look at the table. <laughs> I mean, of course, you have to have your dining table match the rest of the house. No, the surface of this table is gorgeous, but look at the legs. That is art. And of course, beautiful chairs to accompany it. And you can afford to have a table this big because you do have a lot of space. 
Now this portion is also lower ceiling, but check out the ceiling design. It's still different from the one in the living area or anywhere else on this floor. Also, that lighting piece, that accent piece. <laughs> Gorgeous. All right, and then in front of your dining area, let me figure this out first, hold on. There we go. In front of your dining area, you have your enclosed kitchen. So you have a bar right here in the center, also acts as your island counter with storage on this side. And then you have storage all around. Wow, that is a very cool air con. Like, it's very cold. <laughs> so you have storage up here for the cupboards. You have your wine chiller down here, sink on this side, and then your built-ins. So your oven, your dishwasher, and your microwave, and then your refrigerator right here. And then on this wall, you actually have your stove and oven with a range. And then again, of course, more storage. No. Oh, I know where this is going to lead to. That's going to lead you outside. Oh, wow. That is a very, very smooth hinge. So initially, I thought the cabinets would be like the right? Lua. But apparently, it's just one whole cabinet. Pinipin Pinipin doon? But this is a magnet. Oh! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wow, okay. So either side. Oh, that is cool. Wait, it's not like that. Because it's range, it's not like that. Okay, okay. That's <laughs> okay. Okay, before we check out that other door, let's look at this one. That is really cool. That's a double, double. There you go. Oh, okay. So this one leads to the stairs going down to the driveway, which we'll check out later. But it's also good to note na he's from the carport. You can bring your groceries directly up here via these stairs. Get the light switch. Can I close it now? All right. So you have a door over here that's gonna lead us outside because I can hear the water feature. <laughs> that's how I know. And, oh, I forgot to mention the flooring. The flooring in the kitchen is different from the flooring here outside. Oh, ganda nung pagka beige yung marble. And then direct contrast to the square gray stone-like tile that we have here framing the swimming pool with a water feature. Is it loud? Yes, because it's also raining at the same time. And then you have a jacuzzi on this end. Fun with the water out there and it creates a little waterfall. That's so nice. And then the rest of it is garden space. So just like with any pool, right uh, right next to your swimming pool, you have access to a toilet and bath right here. So you have your sink, your toilet, and then your enclosed shower space. You have high ceiling. You have an awning window over there with a screen, which is great since you're on the ground floor. You don't want any flies coming in here. And then you also have a mirror with the light which changes Kelvin. All right, that's nice. And dimmable too, okay. So if this is the light switch here, what is this? So your switch for the water feature looks like a light switch, <laughs> which is actually very, it's super convenient because the last of water feature, you need to go to the tank mismo or whatever. At least the light switch. Lang. Okay, so that is it for the ground floor. Let's head back to the main stairs so that we can check out the basement. But before that, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell to get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Pusel underscore official. If you want to see more of our listings here in Ayala, Alabang, make sure you check out our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. And before we go down, there are several doors. Ka pala. <laughs> From the dining area, you have access to a guest powder room. Again, you still have high ceiling, 
But this time you have an accent wall by your sink, and then you have a toilet right there. You still have storage under the sink, and it's up to you if you want to put a mirror there or not. Although ideally, of course you do. Right next to the powder room, we have a bedroom. <laughs> so you have a bedroom here on the ground floor, which has a sliding glass door that leads back out to the carport out in front. You have this much space, you have lots of ceiling height. And your ceiling, by the way, is flat, but it's nada. And then you have pin lights. These pin lights aren't your typical ones too, mind you. They look a little bit more extra. Then you have an old suite, toilet and bath, with your, sorry, your sink, your toilet, and then your enclosed shower space here in the corner with uh, this kind of enclosure with the matte black. Okay, and right next to this one is a locked door, but it's storage. <laughs> and then this is gonna lead us back to the kitchen that we saw earlier. Okay, so now we can go down to the basement. So your steps are standard, but it's a little towards the señorita side, so it's very easy to go up and down them. And they're floating, so you, you have lighting underneath all the steps, so that during the day, and especially at night, it's gonna look marvelous. And you can see where you're going. Okay, so there you have your elevator lobby, and then we have a door over here, or sorry, elevator doors. And then you have a door over here that's gonna lead you to storage. So it's a simple room. You still have high ceiling, lots of echo. <laughs> But check this out. They made an effort to try and curve out this corner just so it looks nice. But yeah, this is basically storage under the stairs. And then you have a door over here that's going to lead you to your basement parking. One, two, three. You can fit four vehicles actually, it depends on how you slot it or all of them. But right now we have two cars in there. This. <laughs> this is one of your staff quarters. You have lots of space, high ceiling, you have an ensuite suite over there by the end. And then, oh, you have your, some of your CCTV views over there. Then you have a, this is a beautiful kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna go in. You have your sink and then provision or space for your stove. It's a good thing, it can go anywhere. Lots of storage. Look at this granite countertop, it's very galaxy. And then at the end, you have a laundry room. I'm gonna guess this is a laundry room because of the abak. I love that. A full blown laundry room with beautiful flooring. So you have lots of counter space, lots of storage underneath, and the, for the cupboards, and then you have, yep, wardrobe. Or actually, just you know, place where you can store linen, etc. It's up to you. But we have a dedicated laundry room. And then I just want to check this one out. You don't have to go with me. I'm just gonna describe it to you. But you have storage, toilet, and bath, and then another. Uh, oh, sorry, storeroom or break a room. And then yeah, this is the ramp going up. Sorry for all the leaves and construction. Cause it's sobrang brand new and in the Right, so you can have staff here, you can have staff there, they have their own toilet and bath. Pero yung toilet niyo nasa labas, so anytime anyone wants to use the bathroom before leaving, maybe, they can do so. Alright, can we use the elevator? Okay, I'll try using the elevator to go, oh, that was fast, <laughs> to go up to the second floor. Oh, we need a key card. Alright, let's try the key card. So, second floor. And they can All right, there we go. And I'll see you on the second floor. Sorry, John. <laughs> so something that I noticed while in the elevator, first of all, yung ang kapal nito, di ba? So it kind of makes you feel like your elevator is inside a cave or something. But then in between floors, ang haba kasi ng space nun in between floors, mukha rin siyang cave-like in texture. So I appreciate that that was um, thought of as well. Okay, so here we are on the second floor landing. And... 
<laughs> Sorry. Okay lang. Here you go. <laughs> Akala ko ko. <laughs> okay, so we're at the second floor landing. It's basically an L shape. But you can look down or look over your uh, living area. And again, appreciate your beautiful marble or backlit marble accent wall, your narrow ceiling, and of course, some of the art pieces that you might be installing by the walls, like this one. And I'm sure when you go here, you're actually going to add more of that. You have your main stairs over here, but then we have two doors, so we're going to check these out. Also, ano? Apart from the texture of the there are mga accents like this. It's just little things. So here we have bedroom number three. <laughs> it depends if we're gonna count the den, the office, but let's just go, let's just say that there's a bedroom right here. So we have this much space. It's a rectangular room. The center part is flat matte white, but then you have nada on either side. You have lots of natural lighting thanks to all of the windows. These are sliding. The ones on the bottom are fixed. And then these are cascade windows with your screen. And then you have an old suit right here. <clears throat> so your wardrobe is inside. So these are solid doors for your wardrobe, and then these are glass. Again, it's up to you what you want to display. You have your sink, your toilet over there, and then your enclosed shower space right here. And you have a massive awning window right there. So no need for an exhaust because it's high ceiling. It's not a bad thing to close your eyes. It's not a bad thing to close Oh, look at these switches, though. So, yung iba single, like one big button, and then these are just like a row of smaller, narrow buttons. It's nice to look at. Oh! This is at the front of your property. Right now, it looks like it's your security room. But it's a beautiful security room. Because <laughs> you only have one picture window or fixed window here. It's the view of your neighborhood. Huh? Comment down below what you would put, what else you would put in this room because yes it's a security room but it can also double as something else right now this is the common area for the second floor you have a kitchenette so cute so you have your ref here you have a sink uh, and then lots of storage all around and then next to that we have two doors and then another one here so let's check these out first and it's a layout in configuration on switches Ito isa malaking buo, tapos may dalawang mas narrow. Right, so we have another bedroom over here at the front of the property. Excuse me. <laughs> These you can open up. The rest are fixed. Hindi siya frosted ha. Malamig lang talaga sa loob ng bahay. And then, mainit sa labas kasi yung mula. Your ceiling design is different from the rest of the rooms that we've been in. This one it looks quite parquet. Parang ganun yung ano niya, style niya. And it has cove lighting as well as downlights. All of the bedrooms so far have narrow flooring. Okay, so this is the ensuite for this one. You have wardrobe on this side. You have your sink, storage underneath, your toilet, and then your enclosed shower space. It's a narrower, longer one. And again, you have that huge awning window. It's safe to say that all of the rooms and the bathrooms are gonna have really high ceilings. I'm not gonna point that out anymore. Because I mean, just look at this door again. All of us are dwarfed by these doors. Right next to that, we have another bedroom. And again, the ceiling is different. So you have a sort of X pattern over here. I was going to say hairy one, but not. So it's more of an X pattern. Na dropped ceiling with some pin lights. But it's also lighting pa rin, the kind of frames, that central portion. So in every room, pala, no, medyo yun yung gusto mong tignan, like how different the ceiling design is. Because the flooring is just going to be the same beautiful narrow flooring, but the ceiling is different. You have huge windows over there for your natural lighting. And then on this side, you have your own suite. So na, again, your wardrobe is on the right. You have your sink, your storage, your toilet, and then your enclosed shower space. Oh, look at that. So, if you're sitting on that armchair, you just get to admire this view. Because your neighborhood has, has, has your, excuse me, your neighborhood has lots of trees. So, you don't see it outside. Alright, now here, 
This seems to be the primary bedroom because wow, you have tons of space. Again, beautiful flooring, but that ceiling, solid Nara with some LED strips going along in random, seemingly random uh, spacing. Ganda. It's geometric, it's modern, it's simple, but it's timeless. Love it. So you have lots of natural light again, lots of three sets of windows, and then you have your built-ins here in the middle. Do you also push this one? Yes. <laughs> so you have storage here storage underneath for your consoles etc and of course this is specifically meant to frame your massive flat screen tv <laughs> with a shelf right here with some backlighting as well it's up to where you want to put your bed really but it's gonna probably gonna be in front of your tv just so you can make it uh, feel symmetric oh that is a beautiful wall okay so when you enter <laughs> it's gonna be your walk-in closet Lots and lots of storage left and right. It's a mixture of uh, drawers, cabinets with smoked glass, and then opaque doors. But then this central portion is also Patagonia marble. Look at that, it's backlit. It looks like magic. And then some portions, I don't know if you can tell them. Some portions are a different shade. So these are like cream, but this is like dark. It looks like fire. Oh, and then this side is the bathroom itself. So you have his and her sinks, storage underneath, and then frosted glass uh, enclosure for your toilet. And then clear glass for your shower enclosure. And the bathtub right here in the middle. Wow, all of the flooring for this entire space are the huge cut, the so it's easier to maintain, looks great, and okay lang mabasa. Love it. Oh, and also, it's not just uh, lighting here. Meron din siya natural lighting. Sorry, I mean, it's not just artificial lighting. Meron din siya natural lighting, so may awning windows at as no cabinets. Wow. So that was the second floor. Uh, and that was the bedroom sa napuntahan nun, the second floor pa time. So we're gonna go up the third. No po. <laughs> Ganda nga po. <laughs> okay lang po. <laughs> Ganda rin timing. <laughs> okay lang, okay lang. Okay lang po. Hindi ito pala ng details na ito. No? Hindi lang siya parang net. Meron din siyang flower details. Hindi ko lang natitigyan. But yes, this is, if you might, in case you recognize it, it's a Kenneth Kabonpoy art piece. Well, lighting piece. And this is in front of a fixed window at the front of the property. So, depende na lang sa neighbor mo if their house is high enough. Because clearly, you're higher than a lot of your neighbors. Uh, they will see this from the outside. Especially at night. Okay, third floor. Let's start here just because the elevator uh, doors are here. So immediately to the left of that, we have one of the bedrooms. Okay, so this is relatively um, lower ceiling, but by standards, it's still high ceiling. <laughs> it's just relative because it's so Okay, so you still have the narrow flooring and the baseboards, but the ceiling for this one, no nada. But you do have this interesting pattern. So it's more of LEDs. So cold lighting and then LED strips. Or not strips, sorry. LED uh, sets. <laughs> Those aren't strips. The uh, lighting fixture is very narrow, not like a wash strip, but it's not an LED strip. But it is LED though. No. Sorry, I'm starting to fixate on it. And then you have lots of windows here on this side for your natural lighting. And then two more over here. So it's up to you where you want to slot your bed. I said that in my outlet, but ideally it's gonna be on that side. And then here you have your own suite. Oh, look that. With your wardrobe space on the left. You have your sink over here, storage underneath, and close shower space, and then your toilet. Okay. Well, I just like looking at outlet space. 
Kasi nga naman, talagang lahat binagay nila eh. And it also depends. Iba-iba yung outlet mismo, ay yung uh, plug mismo. Ah, sorry. Sa bahay. Iba-iba yung socket mismo. Ooh! I think I'm gonna do this one last. <laughs> Let's check out this one first. Okay, so this is another bedroom. Same design aesthetic with the flooring, the walls, the windows, and the ceiling. And of course, an ensuite suite right here. Yep, it essentially looks like the other one, except in uh, it, it's mirrored. So the wardrobe is on the right, and the rest of the bathroom here is on the left with your sink, your enclosed shower space, and then your toilet. But that middle portion. Oof. This is gonna. Oh, that's that's the ceiling <laughs> that I like. So it's like a grand scale herringbone pattern, almost like a zoomed in pattern of the herringbone. But it's nada. I love that. So it's an open entertainment space with a bar on this side. So you have a bar, an island counter, your sink here in the back, lots of storage, of course, and then cabinetry or cupboards up top. And behind that, you have access. Ooh! Oh, this is beautiful. It's like a modern cave. Like, it's not uh, dark. It just. I don't know, there's something about this house that makes it feel like you're in a very, very chiseled and modern cave. That's what I'm feeling. So, you have a bathroom access here, but it's very segmented. So, this portion has the toilet as well as your sink. You have lots of counter space and storage. It's a little accent. Whoa. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is very matte. It's very stone-like. But it's a pattern. It's different from the rest of the walls. Because this is a smooth stone. It's different. Very subtle difference, but it's there. And then this portion. Puro glass. <laughs> Sorry, Buddha. We have blue LED lighting, just to accentuate this part. So this is the door. To go to the shower area, you have to go inside and then through that door over there to go to the shower. But then this is a, this is a sauna. That's going to be the control for it. I don't want to touch it, but I am going to guess that is a sauna. I don't have to learn by just Oh, what a view. And then on the other side of this entertainment room okay, is going to be <laughs> where your main entertainment device is going to be, which is your TV. At this point, I don't even know how many inches the TV is here. You're probably just going to want to get the biggest one because it's going to fit in there. So this is the outlet. You have storage on the left side and as well as under. And then on the right with some glass so that you can display whatever it is that you want to display. You have a view of your neighborhood. You can see tops of trees. Right now though, it might just look malabo because uh, my moisture is a bintana. And then here, this entire wall is just glass and you can open it up so that you have an interior exterior situation going on. We have more seating space out here and a better view of your neighborhood and you can hear and you can hear the rain well specifically now because it is raining but even when this area is sunny okay lang kasi covered ka naman by the way your ceiling is still solid nada excuse me well not solid of course uh my cuts but like gets it's just narrow all around Ang ganda. it frames your vista and then hindi tayo pupunta sa portion na yun but you have an open area as well, of course, for this roof deck where you have waterproof furniture. Of course you do. And it's a beautiful piece too. Ah, you essentially have your own garden or park here in your rooftop. You have doors. Oh, no, no, no sorry. Correction. Those are windows. Those are the windows peering into the shower that we saw earlier. But actually, from the outside, you can see the it. Uh, so yeah, that is it for the entertainment room. Man, imagine, 
imagine having your family and friends over, just having a good time here, having fun. Shabar dadag dagan mo naman yung furniture mo and things that you're you are gonna store in here. You can have more than enough space and storage for all of that. Ngin dana layout. Let it, let us know what you think about the layout and about the overall design and feel of this house. Because frankly, it's very nice. Okay, so we are gonna do a recap on the ground floor, but you are gonna watch these amazing B-rolls first. Also, if you didn't know already, we have a YouTube membership channel. Now, there are three tiers to that. You have Presello Fan, Presello Team, and Presello Fam, which is the top tier. And you get exclusive access to content, shoutouts, um, videos, as well as the ability to hang out with all of us, like as in Presello Team, in a monthly online meeting. So yes, you get to talk to us and like we get to throw ideas and stuff. So if that's interesting to you, make sure you check out the YouTube membership channel now, that being said we do have new members so we have new members we have christine castillo maurice ferrer and yumi bautista thank you guys for becoming new members and hopefully in the next video you're gonna hear your name by the way you guys if you have property like this that you want to sell and you need help selling them it doesn't have to be this big it doesn't have to be in ayala alaban it could be anywhere it could be smaller it could be bigger it's up to you whatever you're selling we're gonna help you to do that, simply go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. I love how when you go down the stairs, the first thing you see is the accent wall, of course, as well as your just slab of Patagonia here for your dining table. It is just like your eyes just land on accent walls and pieces, and it's impressive. Okay, numbers. You have 1,500 square meters of floor area distributed between four levels basically so first to third floor and then a basement and then you have 650 square meters of lot area 10 bedrooms 10 toilet and baths 10 vehicle car slots so that depends uh, that is spread between your carport at the front and then your basement parking and then everywhere else in between <laughs> and then you have lots and lots of areas open areas for your living multiple living areas, multiple seating areas. You have your family room on the second floor. You have an entertainment room on the top floor with a roof deck. You have a swimming pool, a jacuzzi. You have a steam room upstairs. You have an office down here on the ground floor. And of course you have an elevator to traverse you across all the floors and lots and lots of beautiful wood, beautiful nada, beautiful marble. So if this kind of lovely home 
impresses you and you want it for yourself, again, this is in Ayala Alabang Village, Mundilupa. Make sure you send this video to whoever is interested. But if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. If you want to see more house tours, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more of our Build Your Owns or BYOs, click here. And if you want to see more of our other content, click right here. Also, if you haven't subscribed, 